What is up guys, we are back with Attack on Titan Chapter 106, Brave Volunteers. Um, let's just get into it, man. Alright, uh, so I'm sure you probably wouldn't know what to say to this. Captain, no word from the advance party in the two hours since they landed. I know, prepare survey units 2 and 3 for landing. This island of devils defeated our warrior unit and now threatens the world. We are letting Marley know what's really going on here, no matter what it takes. But I want you to listen. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was three years ago, a time when we might have been able to change something. Interesting. So, is this... This might be a flashback chapter, then. Interesting. I'm, re I'm really going to be excited to see, like, what... What information do we get revealed, uh, you know, during this chapter? Hmm. Uh, a devil. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Marley. Welcome to the island of Paradise. I am Hanji. I'm here to receive our distinguished guests who've come here from oh so far across the sea. Your long voyage must have left you tired. Come, why not join us for a cup of tea? Also, it's it's very interesting that Marley would even, like, I mean, obviously, you know, Paradis, like, the situation over there is, um, what is it? Like, um, you know, like, they said in this chapter, like, they defeated our warrior unit, right? And, like, the situation on the island has kind of been getting, like, worse and worse for, for Marley. Um, but I do find it interesting that they that they send the, uh, like a group out there when I feel like Marley would be more preoccupied with like all these you know like these wars that they've been fighting right they've been fighting these other nations, um, so I I, I felt like that would be pre like preoccupying their time, um, but yeah I, I like I don't know what they like sending out one measly little you know ship to pair to take care of their problem on Paradis Island I feel like it's, it's just not like that was not a good plan at all um uh if you were wondering about this guest here who have arrived just a bit before you we're ready we're already getting along great isn't that right Niccolo uh captain don't mind me just shoot these damn devils Huh? Why would you say that, Niccolo? He's clearly not interested in playing along with your stupid skit. Niccolo, listen up, you damn devils. Marley isn't interested in hearing from anyone with defiled blood. What makes you think we'd ever sit pig's piss with you tarnished bastards? Uh, are you sure? Do you really want to insult us like that? Don't tell me you can't see the titan behind you. <laughs> I'd love to hear exactly how you plan on getting away from this place. Uh, we will not bend to the power of the devils. This is all that Marley has to say to you. Um, oh, he got shot? What happened? What are you doing, Yelena? Put down your weapons. What is this? Do as she says. Hanji, I'm honored to receive your invitation. Now, how about that tea? Oh, it's her. Interesting. Sorry, my camera is just like wigging out. All right. Uh, but okay, interesting. Meeting Yelena. <laughs> I've so wanted to meet you, Aaron. Interesting. Hmm. And so it was stated in the last chapter that she was like a follower of, of Zeke or something like that. So um, I'm glad that we're going to get a little bit more of her character in this. Uh, what exactly are they after? That big lady shot her comrades to death. Who knows? Uh, well, we can't trust them whether they're on our side or not. Really? Sayama, so you're going to show Sasha literally the next chapter? Stop, dude. How can he? That's so cruel, man. That's so cruel. <sighs> Wake up, Sasha. 
but being able to talk to them is an incredible chance to gather intelligence. And and Sasha's not even gonna talk this chapter either. It's it's just cruel, man. It's just so cruel. Um, yeah, we really got lucky here. Uh, it wasn't anything that we did that kept them from landing here. If the Marleyans were serious, they would have come in force. We have to do something. Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was thinking too. Like if they were like Aaron, I feel he hits the nail on the head. Like if they were serious. They would have sent, like, a way larger force, right? They only sent that one ship. Like, what were they trying to accomplish with that, right? Because um, they weren't going to get anything done. Like, Marley had to have known that, right? Just sending one ship wasn't going to do it. When uh, your previous plan of sending the female, the Colossal, and the Armor Titan over failed. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh-huh, I see. So this lets you shoot multiple times without reloading? Uh, that's standard kit for a Marleyan soldier. Each of the army's divisions consists of about 20,000 soldiers. With 50 divisions in total, that comes out to about a million soldiers. Then add the three fleets consisting of 21 battleships to the army's numbers. They've also seen incredible progress with new weapons, including aerial military capabilities. Sheesh. <laughs> like a million soldiers? God damn, okay. Um, also it's, it's kind of cool. So like, I, I think this is kind of setting up like the beginning of the, the kind of like upgraded, uh, you know, gear that we saw the, the survey corpse wear once they, you know, came into, uh, Marley. So like all the, you know, the, the gun, the new guns that they were wielding, this is kind of like seeing Hanji playing around with it and seeing if she can, uh, use it or incorporate it into, uh, what they have. Uh, Ariel, <laughs> and Hanji's just like, oh, what? <laughs> um, don't flinch, they'll think we're weak. I know that. In other words, mobile weapons that can go beyond seas and walls, allowing the enemy to appear from the sky. What? They'll come from the sky? <laughs> hey, <laughs> if Marley has all of that power, why has a year passed without them launching a proper attack on us? There are two main reasons. Uh, the pure titans they unleashed here make landfall difficult, even with the latest and greatest weapons. Interesting, okay. While originally a policy meant to confine the Eldians inside the walls, this now protects the Eldians from an advancing Marlian army, ironically enough. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> their plan literally backfired on them. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, yeah, how about that? But day is about to break. The titans should be active again soon. So if you're content to sit here drinking tea beyond the walls, that means you've killed all the pure titans on the island. Isn't that right? And what if we did? Would you try to inform Marley? No, it's amazing. I'm in awe. What's the second reason? Also, like, <laughs> they're, like, legit having, like, a dance party in this shot. Um, okay, so, because Marley has entered into a state of war with an alliance of several other nations. Okay, so, yeah, that's, okay. Uh, they've got bigger things to worry about, in other words. All right. Uh, though you should know that this war started in the first place because of you. Really? The Armor Titan, the Beast Titan, you routed the Warrior Unit, the Pride of Marley, the Colossus Titan, the Female Titan, uh, you stole some of their key weapons. So I'm guessing other other nations kind of uh, saw that as like, you know, an advantage, like, okay, they're without some of their greatest weapons, now it's time for us to move in or something. Um, Marley is a nation with many enemies. Uh, other countries came together in the blink of an eye, and then the war began. So that means your group isn't loyal to Marley? You have a grudge against it? You infiltrated the army to act as something like sleeper agents, am I right? Whoa, I was right. If you're willing to betray Marley, you must have pretty powerful motivations and backers. No, calling us sleeper agents would be an overstatement. We are conscripts, natives of lands that Marley invaded who were drafted. We were sure we'd never have a chance to oppose them until we met him. Hmm.
so it's it's nice kind of getting like that that um i don't know like reaffirmation that that marley has a bunch of enemies right it's not just you know the i like and i think this opens the door for uh, i mean obviously this is like the prime example but this this opens the door for you know our group uh to to you know rally some some allies in in this battle against marley um and i guess it really begins with with uh yelena um oh, okay so when she meet she when she met zeke okay a titan known and feared by the world as a devil but he looked like something else entirely to me a god he took us in when we were powerless and showed us hope we shot our officers under orders from Zeke Jaeger. We are the anti-Marlian volunteers. Our goal is to free the Eldian people. Wow. So yeah, I guess that, that really is like a follower of Zeke, right? Um, dang. Uh, Zeke Yeager's requests are as follows. Accept him onto the island of Paradis for the remainder of the time he has left. Introduce him to the soldier who possesses the founding titan, his half-brother Aaron Yeager. In return, he will guarantee Paradis' safety. He will provide us with the latest technology, including weapons. He will act as a mediator between us and friendly nations, which he claims exist. And finally, he will provide support for intelligence activities targeting Marley. Oh, well, it's nice to see uh, Pixis there. And our girl, Historia. Uh, all this would be done to rescue the Eldian people, uh, whose existence is now threatened, and absolutely not. Who would ever agree to such a ridiculous offer? We're dealing with the Beast Titan here. He turned the people of Rakuko into Titans. He spread terror inside the walls. He's responsible for hunting the Survey Corps to near extinction, and now he's making requests? How shameless can he be? Their one and only goal is to retake the Founding Titan. If force doesn't work, they will use any other means at their disposal. Our enemies must realize that as well. Why don't we hear what their leader has to say? Pixis always being the, the, the level-headed one in the group. Um, to continue, according to Zeke, there is still a secret plan that can be carried out. That will solve all of the Eldian people's problems at once. Huh. A secret plan that's just going to solve everything. Uh, but in order to carry out that secret plan, he needs the founding titan, and a titan with royal blood. There we go. The world can be saved if we have those two things. However, he can only reveal his secret plan after these conditions are met. Okay. I've heard enough. It seems like he truly thinks of us as fools. It's true. I remember now. The one time I was able to activate the powers of the Founding Titan was in the moment when I touched a, uh, a Titan with royal blood. That Titan had the same face as someone in a, in a photo my father left me. I'm certain that was Dina Fritz. By pure coincidence, I came into contact with Dina Fritz that day as she wandered the land as a pure Titan, and that saved my life. Zeke is Dina's son. He must have figured it out, too. How to get around the vow uh, renouncing all war. How to activate the one hope left uh, to us Eldians. The way to use the thousands of titans sleeping in the walls to crush the world to dust. <laughs> I love how the entire world or the entire room is just like, uh, it's just quiet, right? Because this is the first time that they're hearing about this, right? Um, and they're just like, what? 